Hi everyone, today we are going take a look at this Max A. Lalia Tenue Folia. It is not easy to tell the difference on the leaves. However, look at the pseudo bulb. Now we can clearly see the new developing pseudo bulbs. These new pseudo bulbs are not mature yet. They are going to swell a little bit bigger. The new pseudo bulbs look glossy. Not like the old pseudo bulbs, have wrinkles and are a little bit shriveled. Some Maxa Lalia Tenue folia growers have troubles on blooming. Now it is a very important time to let the pseudo bulbs grow as big as possible. We can increase higher P and K readings fertilizers to help the growths. And the most important thing to do is to increase the lights. Without the strong lights, it's hard to make Maxa Lalia Tenue folia bloom. I also have experienced the hard time on Maxa Lalia Tenue Folia blooming. However, after I have moved my Maxa Lalia Tenue Folia from the northwestern balcony to the southeastern balcony, to receive direct sunlight before blooming. Now my Maxa Lalia Tenue Folia bloom regularly every year. Maxa Lalia Tenue Folia is a very robust orchid. I've tried to grow them in bark chips sphagnum moss, and gravels, they all grew well their potting media. It likes strong lights, provided strong lights before blooming. Then we can expect a bunch of blooms with coconut fragrance. If you like this video, please give it a like, hit share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.